Hello and I welcome you all to the Tech Blackboard. This is part 3 of our series Cloud for Everyone. In this part 3, I have tried to explain the concepts of virtualization, hypervisor, virtual machine and how actually they come together and make cloud possible. In the previous part, part 2, I covered the concepts of IAS, Infrastructure as a Service, PaaS, Platform as a Service and SaaS, Software as a Service along with Serverless concept. I also explained who are the big players in the cloud space. Besides that, we also take a deep dive in the core concepts of cloud like on-demand, pay-as-you-go, capex which is capital expenditure and opex which is operational expenditure. Then in the part 1, I explained how actually the cloud works. It's a very interesting video, don't miss on that please. The link for the entire playlist is now available in the top right corner and in the description box below. So let's begin. So as you can see on the slide, in good old days, the companies would spend huge money to deploy big servers. There could be many reasons for it. For example, uh, let's say sometimes the plan for expansion of the company, maybe the company foresee a huge surge in the business demand, maybe like festival or something like that, maybe a special occasion uh, or probably like a sudden big contract from a new client. So that could also be one of the reason why a company would deploy new servers. So similarly, there could be many reasons why a company's why companies deploy many servers, big servers to take care of their growing demands of their businesses. However, unfortunately, in majority of the case, the, the capacity, the capacity of the servers generally go waste. And let's say they, they are not utilized 100% or they are not utilized to their full potential. Now, in many cases, there could be a decline in the demand or the business probably didn't went go as high as the company thought it to be. In many cases, it's just an overestimation of the server power needed by the company. The reason could be many, but this puts company in a very tight spot. They cannot use the servers to their full potential. And of course, the money get wasted. Plus, they have to incur huge money on the maintenance cost as well. That's a big problem. What's the solution then? enter the world of virtualization simply putting it virtualization is nothing but use of software to simulate the hardware and truly speaking it's a very important concept especially in today's world so let's say you are a huge giant company selling some products let's say you are amazon and then you are selling a lot of products and suddenly you say okay some festival is coming maybe the christmas or the diwali is coming and then you see there is a there could be a sudden surge in the demand so what are you going to do so the one option the orthodox way of doing is that you deploy a lot of servers and handle this new surge in demand but then what happens when this occasion has passed by diwali is over christmas is over what are you going to do with this huge strength of servers it all goes wasted thus as a company in order to use your resources to the full potential, your focus or your full attention should be to use your existing servers or hardware to the maximum you can, rather than buying new hardware for everything. And that's exactly what virtualization enables you to do. So rather than buying new hardware, what you essentially do is use virtualization technology to create an array of virtual machines and use your hardware to the maximum output. Not only it saves huge money as a capital expenditure, but also you have to spend very less money in order to maintain huge servers or bigger hardware. So once again, virtualization is use of software to simulate hardware. And friends, it's very important that you understand that virtualization is core of cloud computing. Now in the next slide, I will tell you the concept of hypervisor and then I will show you how the concept of virtualization and hypervisor come together in upcoming slide 
so keep watching the video till the very end and now this is hypervisor so as i just mentioned in my last slide that virtualization uses a piece of software to simulate hardware that piece of software is actually hypervisor now there are two major types of hypervisor type 1 which is also known as bare metal this hypervisor run on the top of physical hypervisor and then we have type 2 this hypervisor runs within the operating system running on the physical hardware moving on we have virtual machines using hypervisor you can create multiple virtual machine on the same hardware this way you save a lot of money by not buying new hardware many of you might already be using vdi machines already but probably you don't know so normally what happens is in big companies you connect to vdi machines through citrix and that's exactly where virtualization is already working for you so probably you don't know but you're already using virtualization and virtual machines and that's exactly how you can visualize virtual machines on cloud computing as well so think cloud computing especially infrastructure as a service as big cluster of servers many users use it however each one of the user gets a feeling that he or she is using their own dedicated machine if you want to take a deep dive on how exactly cloud computing works then do check out my previous video the link for the same is now appearing in the i button and would be also available in the description box below in this video i have explained how cloud computing works in great detail by using lot of animation so that everyone can understand the cloud computing now here comes the graphical representation of all the concepts that we learned and let's put them together to understand how virtualization and hypervisor and virtual machines comes together and enable big IT companies to best use their hardware resources. Okay, so at the very bottom of this illustration, you can see that we have physical hardware here. And then on top of physical hardware, we have host operating system. And then on the host operating system, we have the actual hypervisor. And using this hypervisor layer, you can go ahead and create multiple virtual machines. So now let's bring all the concepts together and understand with the help of this illustration. As I told you that hypervisor is a layer of software which we use to simulate the hardware. So you can see that there is a hypervisor here and then it's sitting on the top of hardware with a host operating system on the hardware. So then hypervisor is enabling us to create multiple virtual machines and virtualizing the hardware. How? Because you can see in each virtual machine, we have a virtual hardware. And then on the virtual hardware, on top of it, we have a guest operating system. And then on that guest operating system, we have various applications. So you can do a lot of development. You can put your custom applications or pre-made applications on top of this guest operating system and start using virtual machine as they were their own uh, as they were your own dedicated machines so you don't so as a user you don't feel the difference between virtual machines and that's the exact concept that you have also uh, already felt while working vdis uh, in your company and I'm not sure how many of you have heard the terms like Docker, containers, and Kubernetes. But the major difference between Dockers or containers and the virtual machine is that Dockers do not have or containers do not have their own uh, operating systems. They, they actually kind of borrows the operating systems from the underlying uh, machines or the underlying hardware that they are running on. While each virtual machine has has its own operating system so that's a very vital difference between a docker container and virtual machines so uh, this is a little out of this topic but if any one of you want to take a deep dive on docker or kubernetes containers do let me know in the comment section below and i will surely create a video on that topic as well
Now here comes another diagram. In this diagram, I'm just showing you what are the differences between cloud computing and virtualization. And the round box in between shows you what are the common things between cloud computing and virtualization. On a very high level, virtualization is the core technology that is used by the cloud providers to enable to create cloud computing. So virtualization is essentially for the IT geeks and the cloud computing is made for end user to use it, to consume it. So virtualization is technology, cloud computing is the methodology. I hope this quick video has helped you understand the very heart of cloud computing, the underlying technologies that made cloud computing possible. All these concepts I explained are for everyone to understand cloud computing and I have taken some leverage to keep the concept simple for a layman to understand. If you want detailed videos on any of the concepts discussed in this video or any other concept related to cloud computing, do tell me in the comment section below and I will surely and happily make a video on that. If this video has added any value in your learning, a like and subscribe is highly appreciated. Share this video in your family and friends to spread and expand their learning. Your comments and feedback give me a chance to interact with you and I look forward for them. We will meet again in our next video. Till then stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.